Outcast 4S. We had a crazy time at the skate park. I sent it 25, 30 feet in the air. This thing made it, man. It really made it. If you look, my chassis is perfect. My A arms are perfect. Wheel hubs, everything looks great. Front bumper, rear bumper, even my shock towers look great. But I did manage to eat up half the teeth on my spur gear. And I ate up all the teeth except for one on my pinion gear. So we took the Outcast apart. This is what we found. A busted up spur gear, busted up pinion gear. But luckily, the mailman has come through and we have all of this stuff. So let's open it all up and see what we got. And uh, let's fix it. The 13 tooth, you see only have one tooth left. And I'm going to replace it with a 16 tooth pinion. So we put the safety pin on and then we put some blue lock tight in there. And we tighten that thing all the way down. Blue lock tight in the motor mount. We have our replacement spur. Looks pretty good. So the way this thing is going to work out is these little notches go into these grooves right here. So it's almost no way you can get it wrong. And then it's already locked in, right? So now I just gotta fit this in here. With this motor, it came stock with a 13 tooth. And I upgraded to a 16 tooth. It's probably going to be about as much as we can handle um, with heat and temperature and all. Have to clean out the cover because this thing was full of shrapnel from all of the teeth that was broken off. They were just laying inside. I think I counted a total of 42 that teeth. came off the Outcast 4S pinion and gear. And spur gear. Wow. Fix it. Five screws. Going here like so. like it. No Loctite goes in there because it's drilling in the plastic. It's going to slide and click back in. I just got to get it to click in. Like that. It slides this push plate back in here. See the hole? That hole is going to, as a matter of fact, the long screw from the bottom comes through there and locks into this. So this spacer slides in to make sure this thing doesn't move forward, to make sure your, your motor mount doesn't move forward. So once you slide that in there, now you can flip this whole thing over and it's gonna go in here. So we'll take the long screw, the long of the three ones. <clears throat> the long one goes in the middle, then the two short ones go on the outsides. Now we hook all this stuff back up. So we got the motor hooked back up. We have the fan hooked back up. We got the transmission hooked back up. We had the click in there. Put the three in the bottom. Put that piece back in. Battery tray stays are perfect. That's good. Now we have to put this back in. So let's do that. Rotate that down. That's locked into there. This is locked in. Good to go. All we have to do now is reinstall our shocks and the center drive shaft. There you go. All right, so it's in the back, it's in the front. The bearing is right in the little seat. And I landed these upgraded Notorious shocks from Jenny's RC. Shout out. Track, start. Picking it up. Let's see what we got.
Stop, read, 51 miles an hour. Hey, I would really love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment in the section down below. Use the affiliate links so to really help the channel. And don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend, from 57 Can't wait to show you guys this Pro-Line build. This thing came out really nice.